Increase safety, maximize efficiency. That's the name of the game for the Siemens solutions for the life science industry. Let's have a look how we realize this in reality in the lab of the future where the pharma industry will develop the drug of the future. In a laboratory there are challenging requirements because people might work with dangerous substances or flammable substances. That's the reason why air in motion is a major protection barrier for people to protect people working with substances in these environments. But air in motion also costs up to 90% of the energy costs of laboratory building and that's why Siemens has developed specific solutions to have a demand driven control in these buildings and on the other hand also increase safety and maximize efficiency. As a typical equipment in laboratories, they are so-called fume hoods. Fume hoods, they are protected environments where people can work with dangerous substances and they have at the one hand protection with a glass window and on the other hand the protection with exhaust air which is extracting all substances there. With opening this window, the Siemens solution is adapting directly the volume flow in this uh, cabinet to increase the volume flow when it's open and directly decrease the volume flow when it's closed again. This reduces energy and maintains the safety for people working in this environment. In addition, if you have a few more here with variable volume flow, it is key that the entire balancing of this laboratory with supply and exhaust air also fulfills the, uh, the designed specifications, which means that the adaption of supply air is in almost real time based on the information from the fume hood. It's at the one hand reduced energy consumption and it's on the other hand increased comfort for people because it's less noise pollution caused by the ventilation system. In the laboratory people work with flammable substances and also with open flames. To manage this risk of a fire we have specific solutions which for example dedicate and extinguish fire in a fume hood. What you can see here it's a standalone system which at the one hand is detecting the fire in the fume hood and releases an automatic extinguishing in the case of fire. If the system detects the fire, it automatically releases an extinguishing gas to extinguish the fire as soon as possible. The user gets in addition the information that there is an alarm that there is a specific situation and the exhaust air is closed to avoid that the extinguishing gas will be extracted with the fume hood system. In addition, the system is communicating directly with the building management station so that people can react on the specific situation. One secret of success for maximized efficiency is the so-called demand control. Demand control that the entire building infrastructure, including light control, blinds, volume flow control, depend on the presence of people working in these environments. Because you can imagine, if people don't work in this environment, there's a potential to reduce energy consumption without violating safety requirements. You have, for example, the possibility with pushing one button or with an automated function to inform the system that people are not present anymore there, and then it's a possibility to reduce air exchange rates. This has a direct impact to reduce the energy consumption. If you have such kind of automated functionality, it's key that the users have the information as the so-called key performance indicators. Next to a temperature information, which you might know from a comfort control, it's important that people have an overview of different key performance indicators to have the evidence that the safety requirements are still fulfilled. This might be an overview of the supply and exhaust air volume, the air exchange rates, or even the information of a pending alarm for this specific laboratory. The second secret of success is the interaction of the different disciplines, which are based on proven and standardized components and solutions which are connected to an overall system. At the one end we have, for example, here a dedicated system for the control of the air volume, which can adapt the air volume flow in almost real time. This controller is communicating over a long network with the different areas in the building. The second discipline what we see is a gas detection, a system which is measuring online the concentration of gas in the exhaust air. In the past, these two systems have worked more or less independent, 
And with the Siemens Lab solutions, they are integrated and there's an interaction between these two systems. And at the moment, when the gas detection is measuring an increase of gas concentration in exhaust air, the control system of the volume flow is automatically increasing the extraction of this air to reduce the concentration as soon as possible.